With each new generation of Pokemon, we seem to always get a handful of different and new legendaries. Most of these legendary Pokemon end up playing some sort of role in the storyline of their games. However, over time, some eventually become pretty irrelevant and you barely even see them anymore. Keep in mind that when I say this, I'm excluding any type of Pokemon battling through Wi-Fi or competitive battling or VGC, and I'm strictly talking about these storylines of games. Back to what I was saying about the loss of relevance in certain legendary Pokemon, do you hear anything about Mew anymore? Almost none, I would assume. And this is where a little theory of mine comes into play. We know that the next game is most likely going to be Pokemon Z or whatever the third installment of the Generation 6 game is going to be called. And I believe that in this so-called game, old legendaries will be getting new mega evolutions to make them relevant once again. This may even involve the inclusion of these old legendary Pokemon back in the storyline of the next Pokemon game. And so guys, today I bring you the top 10 legendary Pokemon that need mega evolutions. Now, just as a disclaimer, I must remind you guys that this all goes strictly by my own opinion. So, if you want Mewtwo Z, which I promise you is not on this list, to be in the next game, no need to hate, just leave a comment telling me that. Anyways, I've kept you all waiting long enough, so here we go! Kicking it off with the number 10 spot, we have Meloetta. Meloetta is one of Generation 5's many event legendary Pokemon, and out of all of them, it seems to be the most overshadowed. That is one of the reasons why I think it deserves a Mega. The other reason would have to be just cause Mega Meloetta would kinda be... Totally kickass. But I think Mega Meloetta should stick with the fighting type of its second form, but drop the normal typing, getting rid of its weakness to fighting attacks. A good ability for Mega Meloetta could be Scrappy so that you can hit Pokemon like Sableye with super effective fighting moves. Meloetta gets a good amount of good physical moves from close combat to Thunder Punch, so it's fair to assume that 50 base points would go to its attack, while the other 50 go straight into speed, making this thing a fast physical sweeper. Leaping into the number 9 spot, we have our good friend Keldeo. Keldeo, similar to Meloetta, is another Generation 5 event legendary, however, Unlike Meloetta, Keldeo isn't really overshadowed. I just think it should have a Mega because, well... It would be totally freaking sweet, bro! I am in love with Keldeo's amazing design, and the possibilities for what a Mega Keldeo could look like are endless. I could only assume that Mega Keldeo would stay a special attacker, given its great special attack stat of 129 and its mostly special move pool. I would like to see it get 20 base stat points into its special attack, and then 20 into each defense and 40 into its speed, making Keldeo a huge force to be reckoned with. Soaring into the number 8 place on the list, we have something a little different. As we all know, legendaries sometimes can come in duos, trios, etc. So if one gets a mega, shouldn't they all? That is why the number 8 spot is shared by Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. These three are some of the most relevant- Yo, I, I can't even lie, these things are like beyond irrelevant. I mean, like, I, I guess we could catch them in Kalos, but like, no backstory, I mean, they were kind of just there. So I would just really like to see these guys get an upgrade. Additionally, besides Zapdos, these birds have 0 0.0000000000 competitive use at all. They are just bad. Besides Zapdos, he's kind of a god in battle. But yeah, I think the designs would be epic, and seeing these nostalgic birds being brought back with an amazing mega would just be perfection. Wow, we already have two Gen 5 event legendaries on this list. I'm sure there won't be any more. LOL, wrong, Genesect is number 7. So, Genesect. He's already classified to Smogon's highest tier, Ubers. So, why would it need a Mega? Because it would look incredibly amazing! It would be so overpowered that it hurts even thinking about its already amazing stats going up any higher. Dear God. So the number 6 spot goes to Giratina. Oh great, another OP Pokemon getting more OP. Just what we needed. Well, hear me out. I don't think Giratina needs a Mega Evolution for stats or even the design. No, 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 no. I think that Giratina needs a Mega because of how much of an important Pokemon it is. It was so big back in Sinnoh, and it played such a big role in the Pokemon Platinum version. So why not bless it with a Mega? 
I think it's a great idea, plus the bulk would be so real. Okay, so let's take it back a few weeks to my top 10 Pokemon that need Mega Evolutions. Soaring in for number 8 guys, we have none other than Mega Mew. As you guys can see, Mew is on that list, so it only makes sense for me to be on this list, right? Well, that's where number 5 comes in. So, I've already talked about Mega Mew before. I think it's a great idea. We all love Mew. However, it has zero relevance in any game storylines. Well, I guess you could counter argue that it was in the books of the Pokemon Mansion, but all that was was being mentioned in a little bit of text that wasn't even mandatory to read. Mew just needs some love to be honest. I would love to see it fit its way into a storyline at some point and potentially get a new Mega Evolution. I think the perfect typing for Mega Mew would be a dual psychic fairy type. And with Mew being able to learn any move via TM or HM or Move Tutor, this gives Mew a ton of crazy potential to be a total boss. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have the original Roamers. That's right, I'm talking Mega Entei, Raikou, and Suicune. If you say that you don't like the legendary beasts, I hate you. These three Pokemon are all so amazing in so many ways. Let's just start off with how amazing their Mega Designs would be. Check out this really cool fan art. And on top of that, all three of these Pokemon have different strengths that their Mega stats can focus on. Raikou will become faster and have a better special attack, Entei will get a huge attack boost and summon speed and the defenses, and Suicune will be a god tank, with water already being one of the best defensive typings. It would be so great. Well, I'm sure you all expected this one Pokemon to be on the list. I mean, after all, it is a god. That's right, coming in at the number 3 spot, Arceus. Arceus, Arceus, Toys R Us, I don't care, however you say it. But yeah, this Pokemon is an absolute legend. Well, like, duh. This is the top 10 legend. Shut up me, you know damn well that's not what I meant. What I do mean is that this is such an iconic Pokemon, and in my opinion deserves to have the highest stat total. Rayquaza, Mewtwo, you need to make way for the god. Well, we made it to the runner-up. In my opinion, there really isn't any room for any honorable mentions, but for those of you whining, the honorable mentions are shaming the man fee. Okay, now shut up, because the runner-up is Darkrai! Well, I hate to say it, but Darkrai is only here because of its design. Darkrai has one of the most sleek and powerful designs out there, and it looks the coolest out of any legendary. Just look at this killer fan art of what the Mega could look like. Like, the new stats would be insane. Giving it any more speed? Like, oh my god, that Dark Void would be so annoying. Imagine this thing in VGC 17. Ew. Well, to all of you that have stayed this long into the video, I salute you. Now you can have what you've been waiting for. The number one place belongs to... ho -Oh and Lugia. These are the star legendaries of the Johto series games. I love their design so incredibly much. Their Megas would look so elegant and fantastic. These Pokemon have such a huge nostalgia factor. Don't you remember the first time you made it to the top of the tower and battled Ho-Oh? Or when you made it through the cave and battled Lugia? These Pokemon have such a special place in my heart, and that's why I think that they deserve the number one spot. And with that, guys, that is gonna be the list. I hope you all enjoyed, and it would mean the world to me if you could help me out by hydro cannoning that like button, guys. That'd be so awesome. It would help the channel out a ton. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already, and don't forget to check out my last top five video, which was the top five most adorable Pokemon. I worked really hard on that video, as I did with this video. And yeah, remember, guys, if you disagree with this list, tell me in the comment section below what legendaries do you think deserve Megas? Do you think Regigigas deserved one? Or uh, Registeel? Yeah, just tell me in the comments below. And guys, I don't want to say it, but I think I'm just going to say it, to be honest. No, I don't think I'm going to say it. Yeah. I'm going to say it. Love the outro. Roll!